It's Sunday, July 17th, and this is just a quick update on the Cottontail Bunny. She has been moved inside now because uh, uh, outside in the cage, even in full shade all day long, it was just entirely too hot, and um, she was having too many uh, issues with uh, respiratory distress with the, uh, the illness and the heat. So I, I brought her indoors, and uh, although there may be a little bit more stress on her uh, being inside in the uh, airline crate, her symptoms have improved, and uh, she's inside the reptile room, uh, the room where I, I keep the uh, most of the reptiles in the house and uh, the bird, and this room is not climate controlled, so it stays in the upper 80s to uh, mid 90s most of uh, the summer and that's for the the comfort of the reptiles and uh, so she has shown some improvement here uh, as far as uh, whatever illness she had uh, her respiratory issues are gone and uh, I've arrested the um, whatever was causing the uh, the necrosis of her uh, her mouth and uh, the end of her nose it uh, it has left her slightly disfigured though but but she's still eating she's uh, continued to eat well and she's gaining weight and uh, mainly that that is the primary concern now is that she's just very underweight but uh, she is eating well I've switched her from alpha alpha which she didn't seem to care for that much but she was eating and I've switched her to Timothy and uh, she seems to like that a whole lot better and she's eaten a lot of a lot of veggies and, and fruits but uh, one thing I have to do daily because of this uh, uh, this necrosis that was taking place uh, along uh, her uh, her uh, lips and uh, the end of her nose I've got some Paradex here in a, in a syringe and I just have to spray uh, spray some of that uh, around her mouth and nose area every day. That is, uh, it's a chlorhexidine uh, based um, uh, dental antimicrobial. It's uh, kind of like a uh, oh a souped up uh, mouthwash, I guess you could say. It's uh, kind of has a minty flavor and everything but uh, uh, that's uh, that's the best thing to apply around her uh, her mouth to uh, uh, as far as a antimicrobial that um, you know if she ingests a little bit of it it's it's not gonna hurt her or anything I wouldn't want to put any uh, any type of uh, a harsh antibiotic ointment uh, over her nose and mouth that she would lick and groom away and then ingest and it would it would mess her uh, her digestive flora all up because that's uh, real sensitive in, in rabbits so um, I was able to uh, stop that uh, tissue necrosis but uh, some of the damage was done and um, I may have to end up sedating her uh, fairly soon and um, actually uh, doing some suture work on her upper lip but uh, and uh, also what I'm doing every day I've switched her uh, about a week ago off of the uh, the Batril and I'm now giving her metronidazole which is also known as Flagyl and what I do is just inject it directly into uh, a food item like the strawberry that I know she really likes and she's going to eat that and I put that in her food dish and she's also really liking uh, she's eating cauliflower right now and uh, sweet potato and I'm giving her carrots and also some mushrooms
and that's in addition to uh, Timothy Hay here I'm going to be giving her. And she's pooping a lot more in there, so that means she's eating good. And uh, I don't change her paper every day when she poops in there, and there's a reason for this. It, it may freak out some of you that have never raised rabbits or anything before, but uh, rabbits, their first poop is not actually uh, uh, poop per se. It's, uh, it's called a cecotrope, and um, it, uh, they actually will go back and um, re-ingest those uh, at a later time because it, uh, that material has to pass through their gut like twice for them to derive uh, enough nutrients from it. And I'm going to run her back in the little carrier now. And she's been eating good and doing very well and uh, putting on weight and so uh, it seems that uh, with just a little bit more time she will put on sufficient weight and um, regain her health and uh, she'll uh, hopefully be releasable at some point in the uh, in the near future um, depending on where we're at with this uh, this drought out there because obviously me accidentally hitting her with the car wasn't really, uh, that wasn't the start of her problems. Um, it's, uh, it was apparent after I got her back home that, you know, she was sick and emaciated and dehydrated and all that good stuff. And uh, me uh, nearly running her down with my truck was just uh, probably a, a culmination of all that. Uh, uh, that, that was just... Um, uh, another bad circumstance that happened to her, but uh, you know she she came out uh, lucky in the end that I just you know stunned her and was able to able to bring her back to the house here and uh, take care of her. But uh, if this drought doesn't let up, then uh, then uh, she's uh, not going to be going to the back to the wild anytime soon. We'll just have to see though. She's going to take a a little bit of work.